get out really early, about 4.30 every morning. We'll get up at 4.30 and get out about 5.30. Africa just feels so alive at that time. The birds are chirping. Um, as we drive, we drive out back. We'll quite a ways to the area. I mean, we can hunt literally right out the back door. There's elephant trails that are three feet wide, 100 feet from the lodge. You know, it, it's uh, certainly a wild country. No fences, no game ranches. It's it's all natural. But that's wonderful. You know, it's that's the real Africa, which I enjoy and I love. We've <laughs> seen that uh, big herd of buffalo. There's a couple nice shooters in it, it looked like. They think it's about 42 or something like that. That was pretty neat to see. I mean, they literally ran right in front of us. So it, uh, it must have been, I'm guessing there's probably 50 of them in the herd. circling around looking for fresh tracks. Yeah. We we're out by the water here and we come across a very big elephant track. Uh, I don't know how fresh you think it is, Wayne. Uh, last, fresh night. It, last night. We're going to do anything last night. Yeah. For not real recent. So we probably won't travel. We're probably not going to get on it, but you know there's a big one in the area. And he's kind of by himself. Or is there two of them? Two of them, yeah. Two of them. So it's a pretty good chance it's uh, just a couple bowls hanging around. So we'll see what we do. If the temperatures drop a little bit. What we have is a, I think we're going down to that wet area. Yeah. Right? Well, there's kind of a wet marshy area down along an area down here which obviously elephants are going to enjoy in the heat or after the heat of the day so I think we're just waiting. And we just got to get them to move. Yeah. So it's like yeah. moving Instead of getting down across there, the roads yeah. you can see them. That's the main the main thing get them to move. Chase some guys in you. Yeah. Eat the sticks. <laughs> We know there's elephants. We've seen tracks yeah, all through the side yeah, when we're down through here. So we're just waiting for it to cool down. They start moving. They should move towards that water. And we want to be there a little bit before dark instead of two hours before dark, just an hour or so. And I think that'll be a better chance of catching a herd down there. Yeah, it's the thing. Found a giraffe up here in the road. Kind of a dark color, kind of a funny color from ones I've seen. Um, first giraffe we've seen though so far. Um, it's always nice to see them. That's certainly a part of Africa. Looks like only the one, unless there's more in the bush. Most of the time there's a few of them together. The buffalo over here. Any shooters? Yeah. Yeah? The one in front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the one in front the shooter? <laughs> Gotta check my wallet, see how much money I got with me. <laughs> <laughs> they all say they're shooters till it comes to me paying for them. <laughs> Get the elephant first, then we'll see what happens. Wow. 
one go across the road and there's a bunch of them up here. Um, it looks like a bunch of cows and calves, but there could be a big one in there anytime. So we're gonna go see what we can find. A little excitement. We had found a herd. I don't know how many might have been in it, but some of them were already into this other block. And we can hunt on this side of the road, and we can't hunt on the other side of the road. But we did uh, see one up here, you know, but, we, but it was real tiny. So, um, but a little excitement for the morning. I know there's lots of elephants around. We're seeing fresh tracks over our tracks from yesterday all over. So, of time. Found some guys stranded in the middle of the bush. So I guess maybe he's gonna try to get them started. Okay. I'm done. Not working, <laughs> and I'm not a mechanic, so boys might be walking away. see where our, our facilities is. We got a lion track right here. So it's a real thing. We got a 
You watch them when you go anywhere. Yep. There'll be a lion in the bushes. Um, I don't know if we got it on camera yet, but we uh, had a lion late, early this morning probably, after I just went to bed and was up on the walkway 10 feet out of my bedroom. And he yes. walked down the steps and somebody must have scared him because he's got tracks where he, he just ran off the steps. So somebody scared him or, or something. Maybe it was my snoring, I don't know. But um, but literally I sat all night till 3.30 and he, I think between 3.30 and daylight sometime was right outside because it had took a, took a crap outside my bedroom and then he went down the steps 10 feet from my bedroom and then took off running from there. You can see right in the sand. So um, it's, it's very real. They can be pretty much anywhere. She had some decent ivory for being a, a cow and stuff, but we don't shoot cows with calves. There's a nice stock, got the adrenaline pumping. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, go see what we can find. At least with that's uh, what, three, four, five, five elephants we've seen in the last half hour. So we need to get back to the rig. Maybe we'll see some more on the way out. day yesterday we've seen about 25 altogether elephants um, nothing we really could get on and shoot either they went into a different area or one head was a nice one but only had one toss um, getting ready this morning looks like it should be a nice morning nice and cool it's been really nice out um, we've seen four of them out in the water hole last night out behind here and uh, one of them was a shooter, but we didn't weren't going to shoot them late at night like that, worried about the recovery of them and stuff. Um, I think we're going to go down to a big water hole where one of the caretakers uh, has seen four big, big tracks coming in there. So we might run down that way and see what's, if they're around still. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Now we know what I know what to do and um, hopefully we'll get a little, little luck on our side and see more. We're heading out in the morning and uh, on this power line and heard a buffalo come down through here and it looks like a pride of lions right on their tail when you look at it. Not a big lion tracks here. Head that way. So it's kind of cool. I was hoping to see a lion while we're here soon, maybe. That would be be pretty cool. Check out the baboons. They nap up on the power lines up here. That's a good one. Check one sliding down. Check him. Check, 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 check. See him sliding down. Here you go. You see him sliding down? That's what we saw yesterday. They take the guide wires and they use it like a... And they just slide down it. Kind of cool.
He's down. 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 He's In the chest. Just straight through in the chest. seen a spotted one up in the road and of course the closer we got we could see more and more we're coming across big family group um, uh, obviously bulls and cows and a lot of calves there was a lot of calves I saw and so we just kind of took our time looking them over to see which one was the bigger of the of the group you know they said it's a nice old bull which is a good one to take out of the herd nice ivory you know it uh, only looks this big, but it's going to be way back in here, probably close to four feet long or something. Um, we did some good shooting. There's two of them right on the shoulder, which is where they need to be. He only ran um, maybe a hundred, I don't know, even a hundred yards. And uh, he went right down. A couple insurance shots once we got up here, of course. Um, it looks like he's pretty much expired now. Um, so yeah, real happy that uh, it was the third day of the hunt. 
this was the first elephants we've seen this morning, but there was all kinds of sign coming up the road. I mean, it, it might have been the same herd wandering <laughs> back and forth because the whole road was tore up. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm sure the, the hard part starts trying to take care of it. <laughs> Probably will take take a good good portion of the day to skin it and get some of the some of the trophies off it before we get the natives here to butcher it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Everything went just wonderful. Well, I wrapped up my safari over here with a beautiful elephant and a beautiful hyena. I uh, love it over here. Look forward to every trip. Not just the hunting, but the people you meet, the friends you make, and the beautiful weather. And I look forward to many trips in return. God bless and thank you.